Today is a special day for me in MLB The Show. SDS dropped their World Series program in MLB 23, and at the end of the program, we have 99 World Series MVP Corey Seager. Now, if you don't know why this is a big deal for me, let me take you on a quick trip down memory lane. Let me take you back to MLB The Show 20. In 2020, the Dodgers won the World Series and SDS dropped the 99 World Series MVP Seager card. This is what he looked like. He was pretty good. He was so good, in fact, that he ended up being my end game second baseman. Then MLB 21 rolled around and SDS brought back the postseason Corey Seager. And yep, you guessed it. He again ended up being my end game second baseman. And you already know where we're going into MLB 22. They once again brought back postseason Corey Seager. I think this time he was a battle royale reward. And yes, he was once again an endgame middle infielder for me. So yeah, World Series MVP Corey Seager has been part of my Diamond Dynasty career longer than anyone other than maybe Mike Trout. And now we finally have a new one. Gotta be honest, as an Angels fan, I wasn't rooting for the Rangers to win the World Series. I was rooting for the D-backs. But also in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, maybe another Corey Seager though. Now, to be honest, I don't really care how this card compares to the previous one. This one could be weaker. I don't really know. I don't remember the attributes off the top of my head, but it doesn't matter for me. It's the fact that we got a new World Series MVP, Corey Seager. I'm stoked. So yeah, obviously you get him from completing the program. They also have this milestone, Cattell Marte. 20 game postseason hitting streak. Kind of cool that they went with a milestone card for this one. When I first saw the power against lefties at 96, I was kind of like, eh. But with the max contact, I think he'll be just fine. Yeah, there's a bunch of other cards in here. Some of them look pretty good. Some of them look kind of whatever. But I'm putting them all on the squad for this video with other Rangers and D-backs players from the postseason. And we're going to go into a game of ranked. Just a reminder, as I search for this game, if you're heading to any sporting events this winter, remember to use code Coogs on SeatGeek and you'll save $20 on your tickets. Corey Seager is going to have to take on a lefty. And I'm going with the new Eovaldi card because I want to save my lefties. Oh, this is just the best start ever. Well, he should be out at third. No. Put the tag on, bro. Take five years to move your hand. Nice pitch. There we go. Ooh, Tommy Pham got a perfect throw. Please run. Please try to go home. We got to keep him at third. Three, two. I'm going to go cutter high and inside. And we're going to get out of it, dude. Thank goodness that run didn't score. That would have been a frustrating way to start this game. All right, Cattell, let's get it started. Okay, okay. Gonna have to adjust. That's a hittable pitch. But now it brings up the star of the show. Come on, Corey. Go lefty, lefty for a tank. First A, B. Perfect swing in the first at bat, and it's gonna be an extra base hit. That really wasn't a terrible pitch either. That was under the zone. Corey's just too good. Ooh. What, what? How in the world am I laid on an 88 mile an hour slider? Oh, come on, get by him. I don't know why I have Travis Janikowski batting cleanup. Dude, it's kind of crazy. This whole time I thought it was Jan Ikowski. I thought there was an I, but there's no I. It's just Jankowski. I realized that later and I correct myself in the video, but I that was kind of mind blowing to me. I thought it was Janikowski. Anyway, I have two questions for you guys in the comments of this video. First off, how do you feel about the new World Series program? Do you think it looks good? Are you going to get the new Corey Seager? Are you going to go for the new uh, Cattell Marte? Keep in mind, it is some free cards for, you know, the collection for season five as well. So, you know, are you going to do it? I just want to know. Tommy? Let's go. And my other question goes back to kind of the intro of this video where I was showing you guys kind of how important of a card the World Series MVP Corey Seager has been for me in my Diamond Dynasty journey. Oh, that would have been a sick play. My question for you guys is if you've been playing Diamond Dynasty for multiple years, are there any players that just kind of automatically get a spot on your team or even even better, are there any players that just have been with you for multiple years that always just seem to end up on your God squad? It doesn't even have to be the best players. It doesn't have to be a Mike Trout, a Mickey Mantle, anybody like that. Just any players that kind of always end up playing the best for you that you find yourself using year in and year out. Let me know. I'd love to hear some different cards and 
some other people's teams and, you know, legendary cards for people. I think it's cool. Perdomo, that's going to be a line out. Nice. And Janikowski and Perdomo back to back in the lineup. That's a scary duo. Why am I swinging at that? Well, I mean, it's not even a bad swing, but take a pitch. Oh, we're going to be on the board. What a swing from Jonah Heim. 459. That was it further than I thought. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. I probably should have talked about this earlier, but I forgot. There is a new event with more World Series cards. I forget who the 97 is, but one of the 99s in the event is 99 Corbin Carroll. And the other is 99 Marcus Semyon. So yes, those two guys did get a card. They're just not in the program. You got to play events to get them. Ooh, that was not a great pitch. I dove a little early. I still might have been able to make that play. Fastball up and away at 95. Let's go, Eovaldi. Might have him with the splitter here. Come on, get that out a second. If I don't turn it, that's fine. I mean, dude, what a play from the middle infield. All right, let's hopefully have a better at-bat with Marte to start the third. Ooh, 69 speed. I am going to beat it. Come on, Corey, bring him in. <laughs> two for two. I love this guy already. Oh, I got to lay off that pitch. Come on, bro. It's a one nothing game. I need these runs. Now I'm putting it in the hands of Travis Jankowski. You just walked? Shit. Okay, let's get it, Perdomo. Nate is cooking. That's five strikeouts already. Make it six. I didn't think Nate was going to have strikeout stuff like this. I'm going to go high and in. Four seam fastball for a strikeout again. He couldn't pull the trigger. Did Jonah Heim get another one? That one didn't seem like it was hit as well. Jonah Heim is going crazy. Two home runs in this game. He has been all the offense. Other than Corey Seager, of course. So now Nate has two runs of support, which is good because he is pitching extremely well. But with the way this game has gone for me offensively, he kind of has to pitch extremely well. It's been tough for me to really get a lot of momentum and a lot of rhythm off Tom Glavin. I've had some good swings and I've had some missed opportunities. So I just need Eovaldi to keep shoving just like he did in the postseason. I'm going to try the heater again, dude. No, man, come on. Very late swing. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's what you get. Okay, here we go. First and third. This is the biggest test for Eovaldi so far. And it's against Juan Soto. This is not the matchup I want to see here. Big time strikeout. One more now. Going back to the heater again. Come on. Oh. That's a great pitch. Perfectly executed. Tom Hankey's in the game now, and his fastball is kind of quick. It's kind of tough for me to pick up. Yeah, and then you mix that with the slider. His He kind of feels like Dibble right now. See, I, man, that fastball is so much quicker than I think it is. I have not been able to adjust to it yet, but maybe Corey Seager will. And then he follows it up with a fork ball. Okay, man. I am learning very quickly that this Tom Hankey seems way better than I thought he would be. That's definitely a mistake pitch, but at least we executed. And he took him out. I probably would have left him in a little bit longer. Doesn't matter, though. I'm not doing anything with Jankowski. Still 2 nothing, man. This game is kind of tense. I am going to get the bullpen going. I'm going to warm up some of the new relievers. We got Jose Leclerc. Uh, who else was new? Ryan Nelson is definitely new. He's got a slider cutter. And then this relief pitcher, John Gray. I only have one lefty in the bullpen. That's Cody Bradford. But Andrew Heaney is new as well. I might warm him up, honestly. That's only if Eovaldi starts to get in some trouble and I don't feel comfortable with certain matchups. But right now, he can keep going. Something about the fastball in the zone this guy struggles with. Eovaldi's up to double-digit strikeouts. Corey, let's go. That's big, dude. Back-to-back -back 
one pitch out six shutout innings for nate with 10 strikeouts out of everybody how is it him that's stealing the show in seager's debut oh. <laughs> i can't believe i just did that i'm in shock Line out. We got a guy there. Pitch count is looking solid at 72 as well. I love the quick outs I've been getting. That is four straight outs on the first pitch of the at-bat. This is beautiful stuff. This is an Eovaldi masterclass through seven. Nine, one, and two up in the bottom of the seventh. So Corey Seager will be up here. I'm surprised he's sticking with Helsley. When I have two lefties due up here. Oh, now he goes to a lefty on a one-two count. Nice. Okay, man. What? That's a stupid pop-up. I told you, man. 96 power. He's still going to play with that high contact. Cattel Marte, man. Come on, Seager. You're two for two against lefties in this game. Oh, I... <laughs> On, man he's a triple away from the cycle Corey seager is so back the only thing that would make this video even more perfect is if jenkowski hit a home run and i <laughs> i think i might be asking for a little too much there i need this complete game shutout come on eovaldi carter bail him out bail him out dude oh, you gotta make that catch evan that's fine nate has worked out of some jams in this game already Man, he's fighting off a ton of pitches. Yeah, this is already eight pitches this at bat. I just gotta do what I can to get him out now. You fell off everything and then look at that. Oh no, bad throw. Oh, I messed up. F come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. We got it, we got it. <laughs> the CG shutout is still alive. Three more, Eovaldi. I'm actually going to be so sad if he doesn't secure this complete game shutout. Got him. How many is that? 12 strikeouts? One more. Oh, two. I think he wants the heater. I'm going to go above the zone, elevate this pitch, and it's going to be an out. Nathan Eovaldi secures the complete game shutout. Bro, that's actually one of the best pitching performances I've had all year with any card. This really couldn't have gone too much better. The only thing that would have made this better is if Corey Seager actually went four for four, but that Tom Hankey card, man, that card was something else. Either way, he went three for four with two extra base hits. Cattell Marte hit a home run. Perdomo hit a home run. Jonah Heim hit two. What a way to cap off this postseason content in MLB 23.